What's up everybody, Tidamic Games here and welcome back to Let's Play A Link To The Past. Now I apologize for not releasing videos for a couple days, I've kinda had to deal with some stuff and I was getting my hair dyed. Uh, for some other reason, I may explain at a different time, I don't need to talk about it right now. But, um, thank you guys, or, uh, what the fuck am I talking about? I'm like doing my outro. So, in the last part, we finally got onto the mountain... And we talked to the old guy, and then we went into the cave behind him to see what was in here. Because <clears throat> I was interested. Maybe there'd be something cool back here. Nice, that's a way out. I actually want to look around here and see if I can find anything cool. Because we might be able to find some heart pieces, and I don't want to miss any uh, heart pieces if I can't, if I can help it. Hello there. Ah, damn it. Fuck you. There we go. Gotcha. Alright, let's just rush through. Gotcha. Just fucking him up. <clears throat> oh, man. I'm really glad that I'm back playing this game. Also, uh, you may have noticed that there's no Quake video today. Um, it may not be relevant if you're watching this in the future. But, <clears throat> it's whatever. I, I needed to take a break from playing Quake 2 because I was getting really bored of it and it was becoming really mundane and I just couldn't keep doing that. Go up this like staircase of never endingness. I'm gonna stop talking about that whole dealio by the way. Oh hey, I see that uh, that uh, piece of heart there. I need it. I wonder what's in here. Actually I don't think I've ever been in here. What's in here? Um, nothing so far. Oh, there's another piece of heart. Wait, I might be able to do a trick. There's a trick that you can do where when you're walking across a hole, you can get around a hole in certain areas if they have an edge by walking against the edge. I didn't do it there. That time I think I messed up. Oh, hey guys. Do I need any uh, fairies? Yeah, I need two fairies. Let me uh, take out my bug catching net. I also apologize if my... Um, Nose is really stuffed up. It's really... I'm really... Ugh. I tried to blow my nose before uh, I started this recording, but... I don't know. I guess I just didn't get all of it. Ah. Excuse me. Oh, come on, you fucker. I hate these guys so much. They're so fucking awkward. Oh, God, stop. Stop. <laughs> there we go. They're so damn awkward to fight because they move around so much. Alright, let's go. Let's evade these falling rocks. Jesus Christ. And then let's go up this never-ending staircase. I always like to run up the staircase. Which, even though, you know, it feels better because you are you don't have to sit here and hold up. It actually just goes the same speed as if you were to walk up the staircase, so. it You're not really saving any time, just, you know, saving yourself some... Finger pain. What is this? Is this a portal? Whoa. Turned into a bunny. What is going on here? Oh, I love this music. I have to let you listen to this for a second. God, I love the music in here. Sorry, that was enough listening to it. What are these guys doing? What are you doing? What do you want? You have something to say to me, silly rabbit? I came here to get the power of gold, but now I'm a freaky. I can't go back to the real world. If only I had the moon pearl from the Tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. There's a good reason to be stressed out, so... Oh, wait, I've got a good reason to be stressed out, so back off. Shoo, shoo. Whatever, dude, chill. I don't want to talk to you again. I wanted to talk to the... Um, little blue purple guy. Oh, who are you, who are you Mr. Buddy? This world is like the real world, but evil has twisted it. The golden power is what changed your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. I'm always changing my mind, so I turn into a ball. But if you have a ball called the Moon Pearl, you can keep your original shape here. Huh. Well, interesting thing. You may notice, this looks a lot like the play- Oh my god, I don't want to talk to you. Motherfucker. <laughs> so, you may have noticed, this looks a lot like the place we were just in. Except, this little area that looks like, like, uh, glasses here. They're actually called Spectacle Rock. Um... It's not here anymore. God damn it! Ugh. Stop! I'm trying to avoid these people. God, this is harder than fighting a boss. Alright, anyway. What you need to do 
You gotta take out the magic mirror because they're like, oh, it'll bring you to a different world. You press it. If you're in the dark world, bring you to the light world. And we get that piece of heart I was eyeballing a second ago. Ah, damn it, I don't get to fill up my heart container though. <clears throat> oh well. Let's keep on moving on. Try to make our way. Oh, hey, this looks like uh, the dungeon. I think this is the main dungeon, but I'm gonna hold off going in there just yet. I wanna look around a little bit more and see if there's anything cool that I can find. Um, what's across this bridge? Uh, nothing's across this bridge. Nothing I can do yet. Anyway, that was a waste of time. I wonder what's on the other side, though. <clears throat> this is probably my favorite part of this game, to be perfectly honest. It's just walking around, looking for uh, cool things. <clears throat> what is this? What does it say? Alright, good to know. Um, but I do have the Book of Medora, which will help me read this. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the Magic of Aether. Oh, that's too bad, because I don't have the Master Sword. Just got the regular old piece of shit sword. Anyway, I guess it's probably a good time to go into the Tower of Hera. Also, since I'm taking a break from doing Quake, I'm going to go back to doing 20 minute episodes, so this episode's going to be 20 minutes, just fair warning. Um, hmm. So here we are, the third and final dungeon of the Light World, the Tower of Hera. And boy, is it a doozy. You'll know what I'm saying by the time I finish it. Um, hmm. I don't know where to go first or where I'm supposed to go first. Um, let's try going into the orange place first. Also, if you haven't been able to tell, these crystal switches work pretty simply. You press it on blue, put the blue down. You press it on orange, puts the orange down. <coughs> oh, God, excuse me. Actually, no, I don't want to go this way yet. I want to go elsewhere first. Um, yeah, let's go into this place first. See what's over here. Got to find something interesting, right? Oh, hey, it's a key. Uh, but I gotta, I gotta let out the wormy guy in order to get it. Maybe I should try to kill him before I let him out. Yo, Avast, what the fuck? Congratulations, I know my computer's running slowly. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's fucking douchey. Come on, Avast. <clears throat> like in the middle of when I'm recording? Oh, come on. Fucking get out of my way. I hope that didn't mess up my recording at all. God. Damn it. <coughs> Fucking Avast, trying to tell me shit that I already know. Alright, um... Well, so now I have a key. So what does that change? Oh, hey guys. I'm gonna just kill you to make sure you don't give me problems. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, it's a dungeon map, straight away. Let's take a look at it. God, I'm sorry, I'm really burpy today. Uh, excuse me. Um, trying to see. God, this really is a tower, isn't it? Look at all this shit. Anyway. Oh god, didn't mean to run into the fire. Well, come at me, bro. You got nothing on my sword. Ah, oh, forgot that. You can't pick up items in A Link to the Past with your sword. <laughs> you can do that in A Link Between Worlds. Not in A Link to the Past, though. Um, so I could use my key on that door, but I kind of want to save the key. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to need it in this area. Or if I can even use it in this area, to be perfectly honest. Oh, Jesus. I hate fighting these guys. They're, they're, they're so hard to, like, attack. Because they just knock you back. Every time you hit him. There we go. I was wondering if, um... <clears throat> I thought, like, maybe I had to press a button or something elsewhere to get this, but whatever. Well, well can't go in here anyway. There's a big... The door uh, requires a big key to move on. Maybe I should try to run or fall down those holes. I wonder if there's anything interesting down there. Now I'm kind of interested. Let's see what's down the hole. And into the hole we go. Um, absolutely not, apparently. <laughs> ah, well. 
Doesn't really matter. Let's just use the key then. Go downstairs, I guess, is where we're going. And see what we're doing. Oh god, I hate this room. This room sucks. Ugh, god. Oh god. Sorry for being quiet. I kind of need to focus here. Because these guys really take down your health pretty bad. <clears throat> Especially if they hit you. And so, like, you really gotta be careful to make sure that they don't all fucking hit you. God damn it. This is like the last two, right? There we go. Good. Finally. Jesus. Damn it. No hearts under the pots. So now I get to listen to these fucking incessant beeping. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. Ugh. I'm wasting all my fucking fairies. Or I'm gonna waste my fairy. Alright, here, let's just... Let's kill these guys with the bow and arrows. Just because they're right here and easy to hit. I don't have to let them out yet. Also, thanks for the rupees, guys. I really need it with my 685 rupees and one heart. Oh, God. So glad I got some magic. Man, I'm getting salty right now. I'm about to die. Ugh. Come on, guys. Ah, oh, fuck you. Stop, stop moving around, fucker. Jesus. I'm literally, like, about to die, and nobody's giving me any hearts. <laughs> oh, cool, a big key. <sighs> God damn it. Does it give me fucking hearts? Didn't think so. Ugh. <laughs> I gotta go back and press the button again. <clears throat> God, I remember this temple sucking, but I didn't remember it sucking this bad. I thought I wasn't that bad at this game. Ah, oh, well. So it goes. Alright. Let's see if I can maybe hit the, uh... Nope, not from here. Maybe I can shoot it with a bone arrow. Damn it. Can I not, like, shoot it from here? Ah, son of a bitch. Fuck. Gotta go back downstairs and press the button again. <sighs> Which is the most fun. Oh, also, the, uh, plates are back, so, and I fucking died. Motherfucker. God damn it. Ugh. Yeah, you wanna go through this little fucking animation? I swear to God. You forget one goddamn thing, and... Holy shit, okay. I need to relax here. Getting a little bit cheesed off. How much wanna bet these bad guys are back? Nope. Oh, okay, cool. Guess they're actually gonna have mercy on my soul. Ugh, God, I hate fighting these guys so much. They suck so bad because they knock you backwards. Especially when there's pits everywhere, so then you end up just like falling into the fucking pits. Oh, it's the worst. There's nothing I hate more than punishing someone for landing a hit. Ugh, God. It's like my least favorite thing about this game are these fucking guys and the boss of this dungeon. I absolutely fucking hate the boss of this dungeon. Let me just say. Oh, and trust me guys, you'll see why when I get to it. I'm probably going to be really salty going through that boss battle there. I don't remember how I'm supposed to have the buttons. But, uh, this should be good. Let's see if this works out for me. Hello there. Oh, God. Step in front of me. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's my favorite thing about these guys. They can be killed with a single pot throw. Oh, fuck you. There we go. Didn't get hit. Like a motherfucking boss. There we go. Let's see what's in here. A compass! Awesome! Okay, so you may notice here the big chest up there was right up there. But I don't want to press this button here. Because I forgot to explain. These little six pointed stars, they, um, 
will move the pits around. You probably have seen it already, but I don't want to move these specific ones around because it'll mess up me getting it because it'll move that pit upwards and I won't be able to get across anyway. So I need to wait until um, later. Oh God, I hate these guys so much. There we go. Christ. They're so awful to fight. And these guys suck too. I don't remember their names. I'm pretty sure they're basically Dodongos. But they're like they're like fire Dodongos and it's kind of weird cuz they're not exactly Dodongos cuz you don't kill them with bombs. Which is like the designating feature of Dodongos. Let's see if I can get some hearts maybe. Nope, okay. How could you be so heartless? Eh, jokes. Um, okay, so now that I'm in here, I gotta do... I gotta avoid this little, like, Mario thing. Oh, God. Screw you guys. Oh, God, I hate these guys so much. Okay, so I had to move those pits as they are. Come at me, bro. Come on. Fucking die already. God damn it, these guys take so long to die. Uh. Also, I'm beating this fucking dungeon in this episode. I don't care what anybody says. Because I'm, I'm like, barely coming up on 20 minutes. Okay, now I gotta fall into the top of this specific pit right here. Because it'll make me land right here. And now I can grab the, what the, what's in the big chest. Which is the moon pearl. Which means that when I go into the dark world now, I won't be a bunny anymore. There we go. That's it. Oh wait, we should probably talk to Sahasrila. I totally forgot to talk to Sahasrila in the first room there. I always ignore these because they don't really tell you anything that you need to know. Or maybe it does, but anyway. Tai, it is I. Tai, it is I, Sahasrila, the Elder. An orb known as the Moon Pearl is in this tower. Whoever holds the Moon Pearl is protected so that his form will not change in the Dark World. You must find it and escape from the tower. Don't forget the Moon Pearl. Okay, blah, 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 blah. I already got all that. So I got everything that I need in this temple. Now all that's left is to take on the boss. Which, let me let me just let you know, I am not excited about. Oh god, my hands are already sweating just thinking about it. Ugh. It's like the worst boss battle in all of gaming history. I'm not even kidding right now. Oh god. This is going to take me a long time, guys. So this, is pro this part's probably going to be really cut up and I'm probably going to be really quiet. Alright, let's do this. Oh, this guy sucks so much. He's so RNG. Uh, get away from the edge, please. And the problem is, once you get a couple hits on him, he goes faster. I think it takes five hits to kill him. That's five, never mind. It takes five hits to make him go faster. Is what I actually meant. <laughs> also, every time you fall down that pit, when you come back up, the fight resets. And you know what else resets? The boss's health. Meaning that every hit that you got in on him is nullified. Does not matter, didn't happen. Ugh. I hate this boss battle so much, guys. I really do. This is like my least favorite boss battle of any game that I've ever played in my entire existence as a gamer. It's gonna be a long episode, I can tell. Oh, he fucking did it! Fuck yeah! Fuck you, Moldorm! Fuck all of this! Fuck everyone! Fuck the king! Fuck Joffrey! Grab that shit! I apologize for that beeping that you heard. That was my, uh... That was my headphones dying. My headphones are dying and they're telling me to plug it in. Oh, God. 
Whew. I apologize for getting so into it. Okay. You won the Pendant of Wisdom. <laughs> With this, you've collected all three pendants. Go now to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. But <laughs> we're going to have to do that in the next episode because I'm all out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, tune in next time to watch me get the Master Sword. And maybe we'll face the evil wizard, Aghanim. I don't know. Uh, really burpy. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, oh, God. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.